So, my name is Anthony Jones, and uh, I'm a concept artist for games and film. And I currently own a company called Robot Pencil, where I mentor people, but I'm transitioning to a, a more global company called Learn Squared. And so that's currently what I do. And for, for the record, I just draw monsters and naked women pretty much all day. That's what people hire me for. So one of the best advice I've ever gotten that I think for young artists should hear is that, you know, one, one time I showed somebody my portfolio and they were like looking at my portfolio and I was like showing them all my crappy art and I was like, how can I get a job in the industry? And they're looking at my crappy art and say, your art's crappy, but that's not the biggest problem. And I said, okay, what's the, what, what can I do to really become better? And they said, well, if you want to become a better artist, if you want to be a better concept artist, then what you need to focus on is not so much like the technique and like how to draw better or how to, you know, render this or how to, to design that. What you need to do is find a way to make your artwork inspire other artists. Because when I look at your artwork, I don't get inspired. Because if you think about what a concept artist does, we're on the front line, right? A, a writer or a director or somebody in charge has an idea. Like, I want sharks with chainsaws on their head. So you have to draw that shark with chainsaws on their head. And it might sound like a, a stupid idea at first, but your job is to take that idea that could be stupid and actually make it be really cool. And then the next thing you know, you got like this really amazing drawing of a shark with a chainsaw on his head and people are inspired by that. They're like, I want to model this, I want to animate this, I want to like write more stories about this. And it's a very hard thing to do. But once I heard that, that's when I discovered, that's when I truly discovered that my artwork was not inspiring at all. Like it was just like, I just drew an orc with like a loincloth and like a, an axe. It was very, like very, very ha Halloween costume. Does it make sense? Like it's, like if you look at Gladiator from the movie Gladiator, like if you look at like, you know, Maximus, he looks badass, he looks epic, right? You want to be him, you want to go fight those fights, you want to go and be in those arenas and watch him, right? But if you look at someone dressed up as a gladiator from like a Halloween costume store, you know it's just generic like plastic with like generic stripes or uh, detail and you can tell the difference between that and that's what I was drawing, I was drawing Halloween costumes. So I spent a lot of my time, I tell artists like learn how to paint, learn how to design so that way you could focus on what really matters which is like what you're drawing, like what actually you're painting. Because like painting really good is actually really easy to do, you just do it a lot, right? But what is hard to do is make it, like, get to the point where you can get to painting the ideas, right? Uh, and for me, and my best advice to any young artist is to, to try to inspire other artists, right? Because once you do that, then you're, you're, then you're going to be on the right track. Because when people look at your artwork, even if it's not the best painted thing ever, they can say, well, that's a pretty cool painting, but I like what's going on in the painting more. You know, uh, whenever I'm asked about like, you know, promoting yourself, like how do you do it? How do you get your, your name out there? Um, there was not very, there's not ma very many like platforms where you can put your work there and people will take you seriously. What ArtStation does is it says, no, this is, this is not just the run of the mill, you know, whatever you can draw. Like, you know, I drew a flower today, I should post it up. It's like, no, like this is like, are you trying to become a professional? Then you should put it up here because other professionals will live here too. Right, and we'll be looking at your work, and like I said before about inspiration, like or potentially inspiring other artists. Uh, I found that like I just post like everything I do on ArtStation, and because of that, I get a lot of like attention from other professionals. You know, I think when I post on like you know popular sites like Facebook or DeviantArt, I get I get fans from just like people that just like art or like my art. I have like actually a lot of fans who like my stuff not because of how I paint it, because they have probably no skill. And painting, they just like, oh, he drew this naked chick in a certain way. I like that, right? Um, they like the people on art station. It's different. It's like, no, these are other professionals. These are other people that are just as good, if not better, than me, or people that are aspiring to be just as good, right? Like living in this space. So, uh, like, although like there's, it's great to expose yourself to a lot of people to get that fan base. It's also very important to expose yourself to like a more focused group of people that will actually give you a job, right? These are your peers. You know, these are people that will work in the industries that you know. I follow this guy on ArtStation. You should check out his stuff. Those types of conversations will happen often. As a concept artist, like these, the site like ArtStation is perfect 
because we have a place to go and be inspired consistently, right? I think that's a good word. It's like consistent inspiration is just constantly flowing through there. And I think that's why people like love it too. Like they love going there. Um, they, they have this great thing where you can just like refresh, you can see what's trending, you can check out who's new and just go there. Uh, I know my, my, my producer, I call him my producer. he went there like uh, yesterday actually and he found this artist that I already knew, I already follow that guy's stuff and he went there, he's like, this guy's amazing and I was like, yeah, no, and it's cool to like discover artists that are from different countries that you had no idea existed, you know, but places like our station are going to allow you because it's a little bit more, you know, focused and I think... Like, that's why our station has a lot of su success and why people care about it. It's because, you know, there's a place we can find constant inspiration. But at the same time, you know, they're trying to make it valuable for, for young artists and artists like me. Where they're really trying to employ, like, or encourage employment through their site. They're saying, hey, like, get these companies, all these companies to look at these young artists, these newcomers, and these old guys, too. And have an opportunity to get jobs from just being on the site and it's working like a lot of my students that i have, have i told them put your stuff on our station they're like should i have like a website or whatever i was like you should have all that you should have a website you should have a tumblr you should have all this stuff but you absolutely have to have an art station because like like industry professionals are looking at the site constantly and your stuff could be potentially picked amongst the many you know and it'd be foolish to just only have it on one place. You want a place where people you can count on. Like the numbers are gonna be higher in terms of the, the attention you're gonna get in terms of professionals.